The Lord be with you. And welcome to worship for this Holden Evening Prayer Service for Wednesday, December the 16th. Thank you to Duane for the music you're providing. Thank you, Pastor Joanne, for your leadership. And thank you for joining us tonight. We're really glad that you're here. Uh, if you'd like to make a connection with the church, don't hesitate to reach out either by email or call the church office. We'd be glad to return that as quickly as we can and stay in touch. Uh, please know that you are in our prayers. That will continue to be the case. If you have other concerns that you'd like to share, again, please reach out to let us know. As we move through this, uh, this Christmas season, almost Christmas season, now the end of Advent, uh, we have many services that will be a part of our, uh, our time together as a, as a church. Uh, you'll note that on, on Sunday morning, there will be our traditional fourth Sunday of Advent service. Also available that day will be a children's Christmas program and a service called Blue Christmas for those of us who continue to struggle with grief or sadness or the blues during this time of the year. Uh, those will all be available online, and as you check out our webpage, go to YouTube or to our Facebook, you'll be able to find those connections. And then on Christmas Eve, we will have a service that will be done online as well, but in addition, on Christmas Eve at 5.30 p.m., we will gather in our parking lot for an outdoor Christmas Eve service, a brief service, about a half an hour. Uh, we'll have parking attendants getting us all lined up. We will have some candles so we can we can celebrate the birth of Jesus. And it'll be a time where we can at least gather together physically in some way, but, but we need to remember that we won't be able to get out of our vehicles. Uh, again, as we move through the remainder of this Advent season, my prayer is that God is with you, that you sense the presence of Jesus in your life, and that together we will be drawn closer to one another because of the gift of Jesus. And so we begin our time now with a time for reflection and silence. There are many kinds of love in this world, between parents and children, with extended family, for friends we have known all our lives. Romance pressured by the season and the selfless kindness of strangers. We're all looking for love. The angel called on Mary to bring God with us into the world to love and nurture Jesus. The conversation started with, do not be afraid. Oh, make us brave to say it. Love requires courage. Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Our ever-present God is love. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world.
be with you all. And also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Blessed are you, creator of the universe, from old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright, for your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you are the light and life of all creation. surround and fill us so that in union with all creation we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. The reading for this the fourth Sunday of Advent and the week before it comes from the Gospel of St. Luke. God's angels speak, Jesus Mary mother responds, and Elizabeth who was pregnant recognized that God was at work in a miraculous way. And so then, from St. Luke, the first chapter, beginning in verse 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came to Mary and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. So the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. 
and the Lord God will give him to the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth in her old age was also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing, nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Here ends the reading of the Gospel. Do you believe in miracles? I do. I've witnessed them. I've experienced them. I've seen God at work in people's lives in ways that simply could not be explained. And evidently, Mary believed in miracles too. An angel appeared to her and told her that she would carry the Son of God into the world so that all might know God's love and grace and mercy through him. The angel said, there's nothing impossible with God. And she said, let it be according to your will. Now, I know that none of us will experience the kind of miracle that Mary had in her life. It won't happen in our world, in our day, with any of us. But is it possible that God might be wanting to work a miracle in our lives so that we, like Mary, might carry the Christ child into the world, so that others might experience God's love, God's grace, and God's mercy? Is it possible? Is it possible that God is calling each one of us in our own particular way to share the good news of Jesus, to literally carry the Christ child to someone else through a kind word, in a phone call, in a note, in a Christmas card, with a gift, with a warm embrace. We know, of course, during this pandemic time that we are limited with the contact that we have, but that doesn't mean that it is impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. In this world that's often dark, in this world that is filled with fear and frustration, we need hope. And in the person of Jesus, carried by Mary into this world, we experience that. Now I ask you, do you believe in miracles? Is it possible that God might use each and every one of us to carry the Christ child in our own way to those who desperately need to experience God's love grace and mercy? I believe it is possible. I believe in miracles. For God, nothing is impossible. Let's pray. Lord God, we are grateful for the story of the miraculous birth of Jesus, and we pray that the fulfillment of that promise that came to Mary might be fulfilled more and more day by day through people like us. We pray that you use our, your power to make what appears impossible possible, that we might expect to do unexpected things. Help us to carry the Christ child to the world, to share your love and your grace and mercy. How can this be? Lord God, we are grateful. It can be because nothing is impossible with you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray these things. Amen. went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice!
joy so highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. servant of my God, I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your soul.
comfort us all of our days. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray as we pray the traditional version of Our Father. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.